everybody, you know it is back to school time, time of the year when we get new books, new clothes, new folders, new everything, and yeah, classes and school start soon, and it's pretty much just around the corner. So I asked you guys on my last video on Facebook and on Twitter, what are some tips and stuff you want me to talk about for back to school? Our first one is from another fellow Christina, CC6012. She said, talk about kids just starting high school, maybe an outfit you're going to wear. Well, the outfit that I would pick for a first day of school outfit would be... It's just something that I would wear. It's what I like to do. It's how I like to dress. But if you want real advice on what to wear, I would say wear what makes you feel comfortable. Wear what you feel expresses your personality, your individuality, and who you are as a person. Because in high school, you're already going to be worried enough about if people are going to accept you and everything. So if you're just yourself, I know it's really hard in that kind of environment. It may seem like it, but just be yourself. Find people who share the same interests as you, and you'll have a much better time enjoying your high school experience because you'll be enjoying it with people who you care about and who care about you. And when you're shopping for clothes, don't shop to impress. Shop for clothes that fit you. Shop for clothes that you like. Please, when you're shopping for clothes, do not worry about the size. The size just tells you if it'll look good on you or not and fit your body. Everybody's body is different. Everybody wears clothes different. A, si a size 8 on someone who is 5'2 is going to look way different on someone who's a size 8 and 5'8, five, 5'9. Five, it's just diff people, trust me, the size just doesn't matter. People will not look at you differently for the size of clothing you wear. That is something I definitely want to get out to you guys. Nintendo fan FTW wants to know how not to get lost while finding your classes. When I was in high school, we had a special day dedicated to picking up our class schedules, our school IDs, and other papers and forms and stuff like that. And we also were able to pick up maps of our school. And we were able to go and find our classes and figure out, okay, this is where we're going to go, this is where our locker is, and figure out all that other things. So if your school doesn't have a special day dedicated like that, I am 99.9% .9 positive that the school building will actually be open before you go to class. So if you have your schedule before school starts, you can most likely go into the school building to the front office and say, I missed this certain day to find out my classes, or I just want to be able to outline where my classes are before school starts so I know where I'm going and I don't get lost. And I'm 99.9% .9 positive that there's people will let you do that so you do not get lost. And yeah, pretty much that. Michelle is cool asks, when you have a fear of going to school like you are afraid of a bully or scared to go into the next grade. If you're ever worried about a bully, the first thing you do is you get help. Know that there are adults in your life that will help you. Go ask school officials, counselors, teachers, and your parents. Those people are there for a reason to help you. And you also need to tell a friend. If you're ever bullied for any reason, don't keep it inside you. Do not let it just mess with your mind or anything. If you keep it in, it's going to hurt you. You need to tell a friend, an adult, who will get you help and who will get this person to stop bullying you or harassing you, whatever this situation may be. When you're in high school or going up to the next grade, if you're worried about what other people think of you too when you're going into the next grade and everything, just know 99.9% .9 of the rest of the class is worried about what everyone else thinks of them too as well. And even if it's not as big of a deal to this person, it is to this person where this person only just cares a little bit and then this person it's all they think about, everybody at some point in high school does care what other people think about them. Just know that you are not alone and if any of you ever feel lonely at high school or school or anything at all, just know that there are people who are on the internet to help you too, like me. I'm here to talk to you. I'm here to help you. I want to be your friend and help you whenever you have problems. And just if you need someone to vent to, my Facebook page, my Twitter are at the ready. So I hope these tips were helpful to you. If there's anything else you want me to cover, just send me a tweet, message on Facebook, comment down below, and I will put up a second video or a couple more on my second channel without any problem whatsoever. 
I love you guys and I will see you next week where I will be going out and asking people about a certain popular trend in today's culture and getting their opinions on it. I think it's going to be pretty interesting. Bye!